Spinal cord injury, or SCI, can mean a lot of things. In this video, we'll explain spinal cord injury, the different types of SCI, and how they apply to you. We'll also show you that you can live a productive life after a spinal cord injury. The first thing you need to know is, you are not alone. About 450,000 people live with SCI in the United States alone. With proper education and attitude, you, like so many millions of others around the world, can live a full life. Let's start with the physical aspects. The spinal cord is like an extension of your brain. It sends messages back and forth from every part of your body to the brain. And the brain sends messages back through a complex network of nerves. The spinal cord is protected by the bones of your spinal column, or vertebrae. These bones can heal if they are broken, but the spinal cord inside is much more delicate and much more difficult to heal. Even a bruise to your spinal cord may not heal. It's much different than a bruise to your skin. A bruise to your spinal cord interrupts communication back and forth from the brain to your arms and legs below the injury. The result can be paralysis, which means you may not be able to move or feel. The spine is divided into four different regions. The neck area is called the cervical region. Below that is the thoracic region. This is the upper to middle part of your back. Your lower back is called the lumbar region. And the tailbone area is called the sacral region. Where the spinal cord is damaged will determine the amount of paralysis you will have. Generally, the higher up the injury is on your spine, the more paralysis you will experience. An injury in your neck will most likely result in paralysis from your shoulders down. This is called tetraplegia, also known as quadriplegia. There are different levels of tetraplegia. In some instances, you may have some feeling and movement in your shoulders and arms. Damage higher in your neck may result in no feeling or movement below your neck. You may even lose the ability to breathe on your own. Injuries at the chest or lower are called paraplegia. This means a loss of feeling in the legs and instability of your abdominal area. But there is sensation and movement in the arms and hands above the injury. Spinal cord injuries can be diagnosed as either complete or incomplete. A complete injury means there is no communication between the brain and the body at the point of the injury. An incomplete injury means there is some communication. Talk to your doctor to learn more about the type of injury you have. To describe an injury, doctors use the first letter of the region and the level of spine that was affected in that region. This will roughly correspond with a bone. If the damage occurred at the sixth segment of the thoracic region, the injury is noted as T6. For an SCI in the second segment of the cervical region, the injury is described as C2. Here at Craig, our family of nurses, doctors, and therapists have a wealth of information about your injury and your particular case. Make the most of that knowledge. Learn as much as you can about your injury. Have family members and caregivers do the same. The more you and those around you know, the more likely you are to have a full and productive life. Mm -hmm.